Hey guys, I thought I would do a follow me around video today because it's my birthday, but actually we kind of had a typical day and I thought it would be fun to share what we've been doing with ourselves throughout our days while we've been here in Thailand. So today we woke up at 6.30 in the morning and we went straight out the door to our Saturday local organic market that happens to be right up the street from us. So we just went there really quickly and we bought some corn, which you can see, and we also bought some leafy greens. And here at the same market, we had a lady, she made us some <laughs> fresh beet juice and it was really good. It was actually really sweet for beet juice, which was really nice. And we also bought some fresh mulberry juice and some fresh orange juice from a different lady. After that, we went straight to the track and we had a quick run for me, a bit of a longer run for Duncan. This was towards the end of his run and um, yep. I was already done at that point. So I was just filming him. And then I did my 100 deep squats. Thank you, Ted Carr, for doing a new challenge for June with the deep squat challenge, 100 squats a day. Um, you can check out his YouTube channel is Hawaii Living and it's spelt like living without the G. Um, yeah, so those are really hard. <laughs> And after our workout, we definitely earned our breakfast, which was delicious, delicious watermelon. We had a yellow watermelon and a red watermelon, which we both shared half and half for those. And they were just really nice to eat in the sun, in the warmth, and just a great way to really start the day. So after that, we went pretty much straight to get massages. We did go home first and shower. But um, we really like this place, Green Bamboo Massage, because they do organic and they make their own oils as well. So you can get a coconut oil massage or an aloe vera massage out of oils that they make. And this is the one we got. I don't know why the camera's flipped like this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, after that, we actually met up with our friend Matea and we just went to the park in the old city and we just chilled for a little bit. And it's just really nice to hang out and, you know, just catch up. Matea was in high for a little, a little bit and um, she just came back to Chiang Mai a couple days ago and here's a lady she's feeding the birds it's really common for people to buy um, bird food they sell it by the parks and people feed the bird and they feed the fishes so thought that was really nice and after that we headed over down to the Saturday walking street market which is always a lot of fun um, I prefer it to the Sunday walking street market because it's a little bit less hectic and crazy it's not as busy it's a little bit shorter but to me in my opinion it has a lot of the same stuff so I just really like the Saturday walking market because the crowds for the Sunday one are just really intense and this one's actually it looks crowded in the video but it's a lot less crowded I promise um, than the other one is. So I definitely recommend the Saturday walking street market on, I think it's Wu Lao. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right at all. I'm sure I wasn't saying it right actually. Here I am being really silly trying to get myself in the shot, which failed miserably. And there is some durian on the left. <laughs> and we just went to go pick up some bananas basically. After our day, because on Monday we're going to do Banana Island. We're committing to a week basically before we go to Penang and feast on some epic, epic durian over in Penang at the durian farm. But right now picking up some bananas so we can start our banana island on Monday, which is really exciting for me. This will be the first time that I'm doing this. So yeah, this is where we get our really awesome bananas. They're my favorite ones. And there's Duncan on a pink bike because he loves his wife and that's what he got. Um, that was our day. I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, that's it. Have a great day guys. Bye.